So hi, um, there's been a lot of fuss lately about Windows 11 and sudo. So let me show you something. I've been using actually sudo uh, all the way from Windows 7. Well, uh, in its form that it's now in Windows 11 and uh, basically everybody who has, you know, like ever done like a script or something, uh, <laughs> there's like a command used to invoke admin rights. So basically sudo is not something revolutionary. So today I'll be showing you my attempt in um, creating sudo command. So let me show you, for example, well, let me show you the example. So notepad and I'm going to open um, a host file. Windows system 32, I believe, then drivers, then Etsy and I believe if I, okay, so there is like a host in here. And if I try to write anything, whatever, I cannot save it because it's read only. So don't save, sudo, and there you have it. And basically, now if I open the same thing, uh, sorry, um, and see, and all files. And now if I open hosts, I can actually save it normally. So saved, I will be deleting that because I do not need it. But there you have it and it actually works perfectly. And um, now the only problem is that it opens in another window. So for example, sudo, uh, but even that is sol solvable by just typing sudo and then cmd. And you have another cmd, which is uh, well done as the uh, administrator, now you can look in here and you do whatever. So in this video I'll be showing you how I made it and if you are just uh, too lazy, um, you can actually uh, download the uh, batch file from the uh, description and uh, I don't know, I guess enjoy it. So uh, if, you're, if you're interested in this, this is basically, it. Uh, th there will be a couple of uh, segments to the batch file and the first one will be checking to see whether uh, the user has provided an argument. The second one will be uh, seeing if we actually already have uh, system administrator privileges. The third one will be creating Visual Basic script that will in invoke the, the uh, elevated batch file and basically that is it. So three, four, whatever. So you know what? Uh, first echo off I always write that and that com uh, command is used, you know, to keep the prompt clean, you know, without uh, the user having to read, you know, the code. Okay, now what we need to do is actually to check uh, whether the user has provided an argument to our batch. So if uh, then percentage tilde one, sorry, percentage, uh, this keyword is not creation, obviously, equals, sorry, equals, uh, then, and what we will be saying, echo, please, an argument. Okay, and exit slash b, exist, <laughs> exit slash b, and the yeah, big b. And basically, <clears throat> in this part, we've checked if uh, there was any argument provided. Well, actually, we checked if no argument was provided, because this uh, double quotation means that nothing is provided. So basically, this is the uh, first part. Now, the next part is the uh, we need to see whether we are administrator or not. And we can do this by invoking uh, net session. So basically, net because net session needs uh, the uh, administrative rights in order for you to get uh, results and basically uh, only thing we need is actually error level and basically if the uh, error level is zero that means that everything is okay if it, if it's anything but zero then uh, it's not uh, administrative privileges and what we will be doing is uh, uh, doing these two commands uh, and uh, what they mean is actually we do not need uh, 
any prompt because we will get an error if we start net session. So basically we are just throwing every result into the, uh, let's say, slash dev slash zero or, well, trash, I don't know how to, how to pronounce it, but nothing will be prompted, but uh, the program will leave uh, the uh, either uh, one or zero. So basically if, uh, sorry, percentage error level equals equals, ah, what the hell, sorry, this thing has been pasted or somehow. Oh, come on. Okay, equals zero. Um, let's say echo admin confirm. Some admin conferred and we will be go to run as admin. And this uh, run as ad admin is just a label. Sorry, uh, I do a lot of error typing. I'm sorry. Unfortunately, it is what it is. And basically, let's close this thing. Um, and let's uh, let's format this thing a bit better. Okay. Uh, else. I'm sorry, the yawning that you hear is actually my dog yawning. She's 14 years old and she does not give a fuck. Mm, so basically that is it, requesting, uh, requesting admin rights. And now what we need to do is actually to create, uh, mm, to create a Visual Basic script. Uh, you know what, I'll just type it. Uh, okay, for example, we need to make a variable. So set VBS equals, oh, sorry. Mm. slash temp this is the allocation of the file and this is the uh, name of the file get admin we need one percentage I think yes yes okay uh, so now we have created a variable which is called VBS and uh, this is the uh, temp uh, this is the variable for the temporary folder and the name get admin dot uh, VBS and now we, what we need to do is actually echo and this will be uh, written inside that uh, variable well inside that file inside that variable and this thing okay create object um, and we need to create sh shell application Mm -hmm. Okay, and we need to output that to the uh, um, percentage of VBS, just a second. Uh, okay, VBS. And uh, the other thing we need to do is actually execute that. So echo UAC shall execute percentage uh, percentage. run as one and we will be outputting to that to our uh, variable as uh, well and now what we need to do is actually execute that VBS script so percentage percentage uh, system root which is actually folder so uh, I believe that's like a C drive I'm not quite sure the echo, I think it will be like C or something. Yeah, C Windows. Okay. Okay, C Windows uh, makes sense actually. System 32 and W script. Okay, dot exe and uh, that VBS and with the uh, percentage star and exit slash b 
Okay, and now this label that we have created run as admin is in here. This thing uh, run as admin. Uh, this command will be actually uh, percentage one uh, will be actually uh, executing the command passed as the uh, administrator. And basically that is it. This is the uh, entire script. Now we can actually do uh, cleanup. So uh, if exist and the percentage ah, percentage VBS that's like that file that we created. Uh, mm, we're going to delete it. Slash four slash quiet, I believe. And that's basically it. And we can end local. And and just sorry, end local, which will be ending the local environment changes in a batch file. So let's see if everything is written properly, but I think that's uh, that's actually it. So let's save this thing to desktop and let's save it as udo, because why not, dot bat. And let's see whether this thing will actually work, because I know that my sudo is already working, but... Why are there quotation marks in here? Seriously. <sighs> Bloody hell. There were quotation marks. It took me like 10 minutes to find the bloody quotation marks. So this is the entire script. And uh, yeah, basically that's it. I will be leaving the uh, script with the uh, comments uh, in the description down below. And you can actually download it and just place it into Windows folder and you actually have sudo on every version of Windows 7 or 8 or 10, you know, whatever. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click thumbs up, consider subscribing. And basically that's it for this video. You know, until the next time. Bye.